Every mission starts and ends this is the end of the Rosetta mission. Thank you and goodbye. with mission operations. Over the past 50 years, the European Space Operations Centre, or ESOC, has overseen more than 100 missions, from planning flights to plotting orbits around the Earth and voyages to distant planets, asteroids and comets. Our work begins way before launch of the mission. Uh, we determine the flight path, the orbit for Earth observation missions, for example, or the long way to a comet or to, an, uh, to another planet. And uh, we fly collision avoidance maneuvers if need be. Uh, so you only have control over a mission uh, if you have the mission control room. ESOC is at the heart of a network of ground stations around the world and centers of expertise across Europe. I consider mission operations as basic for a space agency as launching a mission, for example, and therefore it's very important that our mission operations infrastructure gets adequately funded. But space is a hazardous place. The Earth is surrounded by a cloud of debris from 60 years of human space activities, which could damage satellites. The Earth is also being bombarded by space weather, solar storms and charged particles ejected from the sun. This could knock out satellites and even communication systems and power grids on the ground. Near-Earth objects also threaten the Earth and could potentially collide with our planet. All these threats are monitored under ESA's Space Situational Awareness Programme, which the Operations Directorate hopes to see continue to evolve. We want to protect our assets in orbit and on Earth against impacts from space, uh, may it be from space weather or uh, risks from near-Earth objects. And uh, we also want to protect our spacecraft in orbit uh, from risk, for example, coming from space debris. As well as providing core funding for mission operations, ministers will be asked to consider supporting space traffic management. This moves beyond monitoring space hazards, such as debris and near-Earth objects, to tackling them. Missions being proposed include AIM, an asteroid impact mission, to test the technology for deflecting an asteroid, and a deorbit mission to actively remove space debris from orbit.